Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure DHCP on a router and also on a server. Let's jump right into it. The first network on this network over here, we have a router as a DHCP server. On the second network, we have an actual server as the DHCP server. We'll go back to the first and configure this router. The first thing I'll do is to confirm on the first PC if we are getting any DHCP address. We configure it to DHCP and wait for it to resolve. As you can see, we are receiving an APIPA address. It says here DHCP failed, APIPA is being used. So clearly we do not have any services or any DHCP services running on this network. So we are going to go ahead and configure our, our router as a DHCP server. Config T to go to the global config mode. Now, we, the first thing we do is assign the the interface with an IP address, which will also be our default gateway, right? So we do so by typing interface gigabit ethernet zero slash zero. And we type in IP address to give it an address. And we're gonna give it the 192.168.1.1. And then the subject mask of 255.255.0 because it's a slash 24 network. Now we're going to hit enter. And we're also going to bring that line up by doing a no shutdown. No shutdown. And as you can see, we have a green up arrow which indicates that the line is now active all right so the next step will be to create a dcp pool and enter this following information so our network will be 192.168.1.0 our default gateway will be the same as the interface ip address of the router which is a 1.1 and we're going to exclude all um addresses from 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 1.1 .1 to 1.50 so our first usable ip address for hosts will be 51 end up going upward so we're gonna go ahead and configure that so now we're gonna exit the interface config mode so we are back at the global config and we are going to type in IP DHCP for our DHCP uh, configuration and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give the DHCP pool a name so it's just going to be DHCP pool and then the name will be in capital letters pool A so that's the name we hit enter and as you can see we are now on the DHCP config mode what are the options we have here by just clicking shift or by typing shift and the question mark we see all the available commands under that config uh, mode so we have the default router we're not going to look at the dns server and the domain name we are going to focus on the default router and the network uh, command those are the two that we'll look at so i'll start with the network type in network and then the network, we're going to give it the network IP address, which is 192.168.1.0. And then we're going to give it a subnet mask of slash 24. So we got 254 possible hosts on this IP address or on this network. And hit enter. Now we are going to add the default route or default router 
uh, defaults just type the first three letters and hit tab it will auto complete the whole command and then I will put in the default router which is is basically the the default gateway so it's one or the root is gateway so it's 192.168.1.1 so it's the same as this is the actual this is the same as the interface uh, IP address of our router now we just go and click enter we can then go back to the global config mode by typing exit and here we will look at this option of uh, excluding IP addresses so we're just going to type IP DHCP and if you want to see what are the commands options that we have you can simply type in shift and question mark and you can see we have excluded addresses excluded address um, pool this is where we name the pool and something called relay so we're going to focus on this since we already given it the pool name we, now we're going to go ahead and do the exclude um address right so or excluded address now i'll just hit tab and type in the the lowest um ip address or the the one i want to exclude so it's a range so it's going to be 1.1 uh, 1 all the way to 192.168.1.50 1.50 so the first ip assign it, the first ip address to be assigned this network will be 51 right because everything 50 and below is excluded so we just i'm just going to enter and that should have done the trick so now let's go back to our pc and see if we can get any address as you can see i have uh, something is not jam jamming very well there let's let's refresh see there we go now we have one and two one six eight dot one dot fifty one which is the first ip address we can do we can also do the same on the second pc to just to see if we do exactly it's 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 working accordingly we do get a 52 and the third pc should get a 53 so this was successful so now we are going to go ahead and do the the second network we will focus on the server so again i will check just in to see if we are getting any ip address dhcp addressing as you can see dhcp failed apipa is being used which means that our server is not handing out any dhcp addressing so we will jump right into the server by clicking on it and we'll, the first thing we will do is to assign the server with the following information so we are going to give it we're going to the desktop and ip configuration and then we are going to give it a static ip address of 192.168.10.2 you can give it any ip address you, you want in this case we're just going to go with the 10.2 um, and then we leave the subnet mask ss 24 and we're going to give it a default gateway i will choose the default gateway of 192.168.10.1 so this will be the gateway so if we have a router on this network the router will take this ip address so that will be the first thing to do to get the static IP address and the gateway. Now that we have that handled, we are going to do the, we are going to add the DHCP pool and this will be the network 192.168.10.0 slash 24. This will be the default gateway, which is the same as the one 
the DHCP server will be using. So all these pieces will be using the same default gateway as the, as the, as the, as the server. And the scope, now this is a little bit different from the, the, the router in a sense that in the router we have to exclude the, the lower IP addresses. So here we can simply just put a scope to say we want all the IP addresses from dot fifty one all the way to one fifty to to be usable IP addresses in the network. It's just a little bit of a difference, but it does the same thing. So we are going to go to the services of the server. As you can see, we got multiple uh, variety of uh, services: HTTP, DHCP, DNS emails so we are only focusing on the dhcp and uh not the dhcp version 6 but the dhcp which will be the version 4. uh so i will just uh maximize this window so it looks neater okay so the first thing we will do is give our pool a name so our name is pool a and the next thing to do would be to create a uh, or to assign a default gateway which we have agreed is going to be 192.168.10.1 and the next thing we, we can leave the dns server for now it's not important for this exercise so this is where things get a bit interesting we're gonna start our dh our ip address assignment at dot 51 meaning anything lower than 51 won't be won't be assigned to any of the pieces on the network oh and then the last ip address i will wish for it to be 150 or the highest right oh sorry 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 this is this is uh this is something else this is not a range this is just uh so this is where you tell it how many ip addresses you want to assign to the pieces on the network so I would want it to assign 100 IP addresses so it will go from 151 to 150 which is 100 IP addresses that are assignable on this network by this DHCP server so we're simply going to click save we're not going to focus on the TFTP server or the WLC um, this is the wireless LAN controller address this is for later on for now we, we won't look into that so i'm going to simply save or so rather add this something happens with packet tracer the moment you add a new pool a i mean a new pool it edits the previous um which is the default like this server pool here it's a default uh, uh you know pool that comes with 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 the program and it always edits the, the 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 network address to 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 be the same as whatever IP address you have for your new uh, what you call it a new your new pool, right? So be careful with that because they then conflict and you find that your IP addressing is off. So after you've saved or added a new pool, go back to this one and edit it back to a different IP address. So I'll just make it a dot one dot zero and then save as you can see now it's one nine two one six eight dot one dot zero whereas this is one nine two one six eight dot ten dot fifty one. So now we are going to enable the services by simply clicking on service on right <laughs> yes so let's go back and see if we are getting the right uh, information so now we go to pc to the first pc and then go to ip configuration and then um, i'm going to refresh it and go back to dhcp and see if we're getting an assignment and indeed we are so you see the first ip address is 51 the default gateway is dot ten dot one so that is working we can also check second pc it should be 52 or 53 so this is 52 and we are getting the default gateway so everything is is working as predicted um it is indeed working very well so yeah there we go this is how you assign um dhcp ip addressing 
using either a server or a router. 